Hello, hello, hello. This is Rupesh, and you're watching CV Winners video series on C++ STL series. And this is a forward list. So this is not a very big topic, but sake of the completeness, I wanted to include this particular topic in this STL series. Okay, so forward list is nothing but a single link list what you know from your C. So this forward list is a single link list. It's not more than that, but this is an STL, so you, you will get bunch of functions like this to actually play with your link list. And wait a minute, this second point is why forward list? I mean, what is the meaning of this forward list here? Why not single list? See, you might have got this point in your mind that why its name is forward list? Why not single list? So I don't know the answer for that, but forward list is also correct here because why we use single link list because it is holding a single pointer right so if this is kind of a list and we have one two and three something like this we we used to call this a single link list but this is forward list forward means you have the option to go from here to here and here to here but this way it is not possible okay so that's why it is called forward list and when you want to have this feature, I mean coming back, then you need a double link list, doubly link list root. And this is your second, I mean double link list. So you can see that you have the option to come back from here. Okay. So this thing is called list in STD template. So this is called forward list. This is called list. So list means you can go back and forth. Okay. So we should use this class instead of traditional single link list because it is well tested. Obviously, if you are writing your own link list and you have some insert function, some remove function and some function what you want, then you have to test all those functions and you need to be very sure that they are not messing with your data. But if you're using forward list, then this is already well written. It is an STL library so you don't have to worry about your correctness correct so this is a good reason second reason is bunch of available function i'll give a good point to this also because you can see so many functions are available and you don't have to write your own functions i don't think you may need more than this so let's quickly go through all these functions i have not listed all the functions but i have picked few important ones So insert after means if you will have list one dot begin means you're saying that from here onwards you insert uh, some number actually so this is going to be let's suppose we don't have uh, eight here so let's put eight here so what it is saying that i want to push eight inside list one but after this first element so after this five we will have eight then four six and two so let's verify that and now let's execute this one so see we can see that five and then eight is there then four six and two so five we have inserted eight in between and then four six two are as it is so this is how you can insert actually using insert after and there are other variations of this function so if you're interested please go ahead and see those variations so emplace after is like wait a minute if you don't know what is the meaning of emplace here i have a video for this maybe just before this video i have given that video so please go ahead and watch this one and then come and watch this one so emplace means it will create the object or the memory inside this list and then assign that data so after in place we have reverse so reverse is very simple that if you will do something like this let's just comment this and we have reverse and this list should be reversed so it is very easy see two six four five it is five four six two so this has reversed as I said, it will have almost all the functions what you expect. And we have sort here, we have merge here. Merge is like it will merge two different lists. Let's do this and we will be good to go. So 
we need to sort this first and yeah merge will uh, do its job once your list is sorted okay so it is not going to merge to unsorted list so for that your both the list should be sorted so that's why i'm first sorting both and then i'll merge so let's merge list merge list two execute it and see we have one two four five six six seven nine so we have six two time here can you see that six here and six here yes and as i said if you will not sort them let's do that i don't know it will do but let's do some stuff right okay can you see that this is not merge i mean it is just five four six two and seven six one nine so it didn't merge i mean it merged but it actually concatenated one list after another list just be aware what you're doing <laughs> And then we have this splice after oh wow this splice this is really very important this is very cool function in single link list or whatever you call it forward list yeah what it does is let's suppose we have two lists list one and list two what if you want to take some data of this and remove from here and place inside this one yes we can do that so that's called splice okay remember this what i'm saying is you want to remove some data from here and want to place that data here so let's see how we'll do that i'll just remove all these code here and place after and then you have to give the place where you want to start with i mean from this begin you want to insert this list too so what i'm saying is see dude please insert this list i mean not insert move list two data i mean this full thing into this list one but i'm giving you the position do it after this position so this position is nothing but this first position so what we'll do is we'll insert this list two after this okay so let's compile this and let's execute this okay see five seven six one nine and then four six two see from here to here we have this list to here and wait a minute i didn't show the list to data right so la la we can do this std distance we can use this function to actually get the size of begin comma list two dot okay so this will give you the distance from begin to end for this particular list so we can just simply compile again and execute this so then the distance is zero okay let's make it clear see size of list two is zero so we don't have anything inside this okay so then this unique means it will remove duplicate values and this remove means it will search for that element and remove this is very important let's 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 do this list one dot unique quickly print this it should have only unique values see five four six two it doesn't have two two times okay so it will remove all those duplicates but wait a minute this unique is <laughs> a very tricky if you will have this two somewhere else let's suppose here then it will not work i'm telling you see if we have two here and here but still it is duplicate right and if i will compile this let me just simply compile this compiled and execute and we will see that see five two four six two is there but this unique is little bit tricky it will not remove everything it will just remove the adjacent duplicates okay so be aware of that okay unique is done i don't know maybe there is some another version of this unique so if you do if you do know that we can remove this two from here using this unique even though it is not adjacent duplicate please let me know in the comment section i don't want to go and check that it's not that important but please do go and check if you are watching this video and want to know that and this remove will actually remove all the matching element what i mean to say is if you will use this remove and you will say two from here let's do that because we already have two two time here see five four six two is totally gone no matter how many time you have two it will remove that okay so this works fine but 
This unique is a little bit tricky here. I don't know. I don't remember why it didn't click my mind. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. And this remove if. Wow. We have this with us. What if you want to remove all the entries greater than or less than some number? So there you go with this remove if remove if and then you have to pass not this some lambda function okay uh, lambda function here is little different than angular right now i'm in angular mode i'm working in some angular project so yeah this is the lambda function for c plus plus thank god okay so what we want is we just want to return true maybe this number is greater than what number four let's do that four so if this is true integer n okay so this will remove all the numbers from this list greater than four means it will remove five and six it will keep two four two let's quickly check that and summarize this video see two four two and so this is working and then resize this is also a cool function i don't know why i like all these things i don't know maybe i'm happy because i'm getting these things freely available okay so we have this list one dot resize you have this resize function resize will actually resize your stuff means if you will give two here means it will delete the rest of these three okay you want to check that uh oh i should have not removed that code yep let me remove this and then list one dot resize two correct and let's quickly compile execute five and two see five and two four six two is actually gone now what if you want to give more than that so we have five elements what if you are giving sixth element sixth element will increase one element and it will keep that as zero see we have zero in the end five two four six two and this zero okay so resize actually does a pretty good job here and there are so many functions like this if you want to see go ahead and google or check the standard website so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button if you liked and subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this i'll see you in the next videos guys bye bye take care